Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. So now I finally returned to you on this grand, splendid day of Halloween. I actually, the other day, had to go up carving my first ever pumpkin, which went surprisingly well. Well, we got a nice little video today on a very interesting group of reptiles known as horned lizards. These lovely lizards are members of the Phyrono Somatidae. I think that's how you say that, or pronounce that, Phyrono Somatidae. Which is a family that generally contains lizard species of spiny nature. Chat to us this beautiful little horned lizard fella. The exact horned lizard species I am going to chat about today though, because I thought it would be easier to pick out a specific species, is the greater short horned lizard known as Phyronosoma hernandezii, or hernandezii. However you want to pronounce it, it's all right for interpretation. I hope you enjoy this lovely little video presentation and find it informative as always, my lovely ladies and gents and lovely audience. As for I'd include this little slide that's coming, which you can currently see. This is just showing a little bit of the taxonomic tree for the horn lizard. You have a class which is reptile, you have the order which is squamata, which is generally the order that con contains all many lovely variety of lizard species. Suborder is the Serta. The family is Phryronosomatidae, which is the order of horned lizards, or generally horned species, and spiny lizards. And the genus is Phryronosoma, and if you're going to add on the species, it would be Hernandezii. Got a nice little image here, ladies and gents, of a little chilled out horned lizard having a little bask, I would say, getting ready for the day or evening. This lovely lizard though is found within the United States and North America, but can also be found within Central Mexico. The overall length of the greater short horn lizard ranges in size from 2 to 5 inches or 5 to 12 centimetres, with the lizard being flat bodied and possessing a snub nose and short stubby legs, a little bit like myself. Lifespan in captivity can range between 5 and 8 years depending on most likely environmental factors such as enclosure size and diet and welfare standards. More research is in fact actually needed to produce a realistic estimation for the lifespan of wild populations. And the horned lizards are insectivores and enjoy a most scrumptious diet featuring ants, termites and the occasional grasshopper or cheeky little beetle that happens to run across this happy lizard. The current state is that the greater short horned lizard is least concerned as listed by the IUCN or the International Union for the Conservation of Nature appendix list. Got a beautiful image of one here. And the term Hernandezii, which is the species name, is a reference to Spanish physician Francisco Hernandez, who wrote an early account and summary of this lovely lizard, which was published in the year 1615. Or well, six, yeah, 1615. I'm not going to try and say 1615 because that sounds really, really stupid. But and also, having a look at this image, you can quite see, quite clearly see how this lovely horn lizard gets its name, and you can see them different air. Uh, armoured protrusions and spikes emerging out of this lizard. Got two fantastic little images here which we'll talk about in one second. Horn lizards are active in the day making them diurnal in behaviour which means they are generally active in the day. Humans are diurnal as well as, as well as a multitude of different animals. Horn lizards are known as sit and wait predators which as the saying goes will essentially camp out close to an ant or termite nest and wait for the food to come to this happy joyful lizard. And when under threat from animals such as canids and other such predators, horn lizards have the amazing ability to build up blood pressure around the eye region and accurately squirt blood in the general direction of the predator, making it an extremely effective deterrent. Here we got a lovely little image for you ladies and gents. As always all my pictures that I do use for my presentations are referenced uh, in the YouTube like information section or description I should say for the video but here we have some nice little fun facts for you to indulge in ladies and gents well two little facts I should say the most, the most like, amusing one for me being that horned lizards are sometimes referred to as horned toads and this is uh, incorrect as horned lizards are actually in fact reptiles and not amphibians Horn lizards have spines for protection and also have the sneaky ability to squirt blood from their eyes, using this as a distraction to evade being a potential meal for a very hungry, joyful predator. And most likely it could be an animal such as like canids, coyotes in North America, generally like bird species that might come down and have a look at them. But it is an extremely useful ability. 
The actual mating season for the Greater Shorthorn Lizard occurs in springtime from May to June. They are a viviporous species, meaning they give birth to live young, with the offspring possessing no horns but can still take care of themselves after only a few hours. I think you put this into perspective, humans, uh, adolescents or children or babies, infants, whatever phrase you want to use, we require years upon years of care from our parents to become self-sufficient in the end, and even sometimes this is difficult. Well, a little lizard like this has a few offspring for a few days, well, no, well not even a few days, but in a few hours they are relatively self-sufficient and do not need their adult's protection or guidance. This can go for a range of different mammal species, but reptiles generally, once their offspring are emerged from their shells, generally eggshells, they are on, generally on their own. Crocodilians are surprisingly good uh, mums though, because they were obviously, if you have seen any form of like documentaries, many crocodilian species will carry their young or in their mouth for short periods and actually have little like crocodile nurseries, or crocodilian nurseries, or whatever. But well, moving on, the habitat of this lovely animal is rather diverse, ranging from mountainous areas, short grass-like prairie lands, sagebush deserts, and sparse and sparsely light populated areas and deserted regions and fir forested areas so quite a nice little mix of environments which lizards can call its home. The horn lizard as a general family group are amazing fascinating animals and in fact I should be using the horn lizards for a project that I plan on doing which is a feeding trial which is based on horn lizards in the wild they require a, generally a diet of ants and these ants contain formic acid, and this lizard it needs this formic acid for its, uh, I think it's just for its general health and well-being. There's not a lot of articles actually on why a lizard needs formic acid. But in captivity, we try and dust our, what would you say, the live food, for like invertebrates, with like a formic acid powder, while with... What more other? That's going to be one part of feeding trial, using like formic acid powder on invertebrates and like testing the growth rate of the lizards. One other one will be actually feeding the inv in uh, invertebrates some mixtures of stinging nettles, which naturally contain formic acid, and we will test the growth rate of another group of horn lizards based on this like feeding parameters. It will also be very interesting. I just need to make sure there's adequate information online and just generally throughout the world which I can use as a reference for this or generally literature review. Overall though, any lizard that has the ability to squirt blood automatically is quite an amazing individual. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. I should be able to bring you a new dinosaur video soon which is a recent discovered lit dinosaur which you will see very shortly. But as always feel free to leave your feedback like the video and join the Raptor Pack today by subscribing and have a fantastic day wherever you are.